welcome to tech interview hub let's start the interview so take a look at these two images uh, can you tell me which one is correct and why both are correct but uh, on second case uh, all mm -hmm. take is used when the image is not uh, uh, loaded so the uh, text is showing the screen a company logo okay so that was the only purpose if yes. our image is not getting loaded then we show the alternate text yes okay actually there are two more reasons as well yes one is accessibility and the other one is uh, seo purpose okay okay what is the difference between div and span tag uh, div is uh, span is uh, how was uh, div is uh, span is inline element means uh, it mm -hmm. on its width uh, how uh, according to text okay yeah. and, and what about div Uh, divs, uh, we uh, we can add width, height, and uh, all all the things in div. Okay. Let's move to the JS. Okay. Now, uh, Vishesh, what is pure function? Pure function, a function which uh, takes an argument and return without any uh, changes. Can you write an example of it? I think this is pure. Is it function. a pure function? Yes, I. Yes, it's pure function. Are you sure? Not hundred percent, but this is pure function. Yeah, this is a pure function, we say, because it always returns the same output. So it's a pure function only. You should be confident on it. Uh, what will be the result of this expression, we say? Uh. first one is uh, default second one is also default mm. first one is default second one is default what about third one third one i think also default because so, uh, i don't know about this uh, no actually this double question mark which we called nullish closing operator correct okay Yeah, it returns the right value only when the left value is null or undefined. The first two cases are correct. In case of third one, yes, the first part is false. Okay. So it returns false only. Means because yes. the left side is not null or undefined in the okay. third case. Yes. That's why it returns false. What is type coercion and type conversion? Type coercion and type conversion. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about this. Okay, what will this log in console? Uh, first one is thirty, and second one, second one is also thirty. First one is thirty. Uh, Why? Because we adding plus operator in mm -hmm. start, and it converts. I think it converts to number. Yeah, that's correct. And second, so what you are adding here, no, that plus to that string ten, it's called type conversion. Yes, okay. we are intentionally changing a string to number. That is type conversion. Yes. Okay, go ahead. What about second? Yes, second is also thirty because we adding two plus means first one is add uh... first, but both are string, no. Sorry, first is string one. Yes, but uh, in second we uh, we have also uh, I think it also changing the type of string to number. Yeah, it changes it to number. That is correct. So now we have string ten plus twenty. Always remember when one side is string. JavaScript yes. converts the other value into a string and joins them instead of adding. Yes, one thousand twenty. But yeah, that's why it gives you one zero two zero. Could you please run the code? Yes. 
1027 yeah can you write one array there const array 123 1 comma 2 comma 3 yeah so can you remove the last element from an array uh, can i use uh, pop method okay yes can you find out the largest element from an array okay Uh, yeah, please. Uh, You're not returning the largest number. You have to return it, no? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, return console.log. You missed the return statement. Yeah. Finish. How will it work? Oh, oh. I uh, I is greater than I plus one. It will put this into this. Can you please suggest me this is right or wrong? I but, should not be greater than array dot length. It should be less than. Okay. So, yes, four. And this four. So you had to write a code to create a new array which contains the length of each word. Okay. Okay. Firstly, we have to get first set into the length and set into new. Okay, add comma. So what would be your approach? Uh I map in the right thing. Okay. Now Yes. Five, six, and two. I shared you one more snippet. So here in this array, we have both falsy values and truthy value. How can you remove the falsy values from this array? I'm thinking truthy value and falsy value zero is false value. So what there. are false mm -hmm. values, first of all, from this array? Zero, null, and undefined are false value. I think also string. Are you sure? I'm sure zero, null, and undefined are false yeah. value. I don't think how. What can about I... empty string? Empty string, yes. If uh, in a, uh, in any uh, in a string have any space, it truthy, but this is empty, so this is false. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the output should be one, hello, and five. Yes. Oh, how can I get? Oh, yes. How can you remove the policy values? Yes. Uh, wait. Uh, I think I can do with this uh, filter method. Yeah, go with filter. Uh, type of it gave me string number. Uh, I think I can not do this. Why? Just think about it, no? It's a simple one. How can I get, how can I know about its false value and truth value? Wait, Just I think about it. I can do this. Yeah. Tell me what filter returns. Uh, 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 
filter returns uh, satisfying value means if it is it equals to a condition we already given the answer this written yeah. the item yeah that's it yes one more thing is there yeah. you can yeah. use the inbuilt boolean function okay you can use it like just write there array dot filter and pass boolean in line number three you can do that okay it's fine yeah pass boolean b capital yes okay. so passing boolean to filter it works because it converts each value to true or false and filter keeps only truthy value correct okay. so all the falsy values gets removed automatically now which is what is hoisting in javascript uh hosting means uh or of uh, all the function declaration it goes to uh, goes to top of the uh, top of okay. the uh, i understand it. okay i have shared one snippet with you it's related to hosting okay can you tell me what will be the console.log value and and why it prints 10 because uh, this where is hostel undefined and after calling the function it will be i think uh, a hostel is goes is undefined it will go yes it's 10 while function execution this is this will undefined and it goes to test and it test runs the code it's undefined mm -hmm. yeah it's 10 no we give you undefined could you please run the code yes <laughs> that's because the variable a inside the function is declared at the top because of hoisting yes yes but it is not yet assigned console.log a prints undefined instead yes. of 10 the global a is, is not used because it's shadowed by the local a value. Yes. Let's move to the React. Okay. So uh, we said, why do we use React instead of vanilla JavaScript? Uh, because React uh, makes our web page faster because of uh, uh, they use single page application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, it, uh, it also faster because if, uh, we can uh, divide uh, multiple code into components. We can use any component in any way. Okay. And it also use React to... What is JSX, which is? Uh, JSX is a syntactical sugar of uh, J JavaScript plus HTML-like syntax. So could you please tell me when does a component re-render? Uh, it will render when uh, something is changed in the component. Okay. What is that something means? Means uh, uh, while we using use effect and use state. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you mean if state or props changes? Yes. yes. Okay. What is the role of key prop in list? Uh, it is it's used for uh, identifying unique components unique elements okay. could you please open any react compiler i have shared you one code just copy it and paste it here in app.js file okay. okay so if you see right now the list renders correctly okay yes but the delete button doesn't do anything if you click on the delete the particular element is not getting removed from the list. Okay. So can you write the logic inside the delete function so that clicking the button removes the item from the list? Okay. Firstly, I take the index and this. Why do you need index? Uh, because 
we trigger particular okay okay fine go with it index uh, okay we don't have the thing I am taking the items and filtering filtering items. If the okay. index of the item is uh, same, then it will it will be removed. Okay. Fine. Means the item. In the index is yes, I understand. Okay. Do you think it will work? I think first of all, items is an array. Okay, items dot filter. Item, so it will give you that particular item, no? Yes, an item dot item remove. Yeah, that item is not an array. Yes, yes, yes. You have to pass there something, either item or index. Pass item. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's working. Yeah, Vishesh. That's it. Thank you oh. so much.